Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. And uh, I was just thinking. Now, I'm doing a lot of thinking now. Uh, it's, uh, what, the, the 8th or the 9th of uh, November 2020. And uh, I was just thinking of, uh, you know, you, you, I don't know about you, but when I think it's, it's almost dreaming. I, I, I dream of things, you know, what if I did this, or if I went there, or, you know, uh, what if I could do this, you know, and so that's kind of thinking, maybe dreaming, and I'll tell you, the, the people I really admire are people that are always thinking, and they're taking baby steps, going towards what they're thinking or what they're dreaming. And uh, and the reason is, I, I try to do that. But uh, some people do a really good job. And, uh, and sometimes they will get in such a, a groove, they stay focused on that their entire lives and there's nothing wrong with that I think that's pretty cool too I uh, well you know I'm dyslexia so uh, I'm not sure but I don't know if that dyslex dys dyslexia involves uh, some type of anxiety or um, hurry up hurry up kind of stuff uh the things i i i'll dream of things and i'll think man I, and then i start when i start breaking it down i look in everything that i gotta do to make it happen and then it turns into a lifelong dream well uh i'm thinking all the time and so i'm coming up with, hey go get over here come on I'm uh, all the time thinking uh, on ways that are or things that I can do. And the reason is, is this is how I better myself. Now, uh, that was one of the things that took a little bit for my wife to figure out is uh, about every five years, I change <laughs> i go into something different you know like i say uh, um i told you i was in the oil business and i say i was in that about six years and that was one business that i really liked and uh, it was just uh, all the regulations and uh, all the the creepy things going on and it's not just me i mean a lot of independent oil producers were put out of business Kind of like what's going on now uh, with uh, this virus thing. How many people have been put out of business? And uh, so, I mean, that was one of those things. It wasn't my choice to get out on that one. I like that one. But I say I've done lawn care uh, one year. <laughs> I didn't like that. That was a that. I don't mind the work. The problem was when it rained, there's no work. So when it didn't rain, everybody wanted everything done at that time so they can start enjoying their yards. So that really put a, a kink into uh, what I learned from that is I didn't like re uh, weather related uh, work. And um, now even though the uh, the oil business, I mean, it, I mean, it's the heat of the summer and the freezing winter that was always a challenge i really loved it and uh but like i say uh so that it, the weather didn't stop me from working i just had to change the way i did things and like i say uh seeing i was working with stuff so big i had a lot of equipment to move the big equipment that i had to work with so that was 
that was neat. I've, and uh, I say I've looked into manufacturing and uh, there was just all kinds of stuff that I would be thinking on and going. And now uh, I'm wondering, now I'm 71 and I keep thinking and I keep wanting to do things. And uh, I don't know, but one thing I, I'm not, uh, I'm thinking differently on the kind of stuff that I want to do now. Um, I know it's, well, everything, I, I kind of like doing it. And I'm kind of used to making money. And so now, God, I mean, I'm just like everybody else. The last six months, I don't think I've made any money at all. And um, it's been tough. That's why I've been, that's why I've had to make decisions and I've had to do things that are really out of character for me. And um, it's funny because I'm still trying to think long term. You know, what do you think long term for? I'm too old. Maybe I need to be just waiting to die. I find some kind of hobby I can work on until I die. That might be, but one of the hobbies that I have is making money. So I try to find things that I can do to make money. And one of the things that I've noticed is I it's never right here. You know, I mean, like, okay, like this is a farm. Uh, at one time, I looked into farming. I wanted to go into farming. And then, uh, man, buying the land, this is back when I wanted to buy land. I wasn't going to lease it. I was going to buy it. And if there was no way that the crops could pay for the land, uh, it, was, it was, I mean, you have to have a different mentality. Really, you have to be born and raised in the farming to really understand it. It is really complex. And then there's dog training. Like, right, Rex? Yeah. <laughs> so, I, but the thing that I found with dog training is it's not the dogs. It's the owners of the dogs. I have to train more on the owners of the dogs than the dogs. The dogs, you, you, can, you can teach dogs to do just about anything. The owners are the ones that don't want to be learned. Uh, they just want to just everything to be just right for them. And they don't understand everything that's involved in owning the dog. If you want a dog that's going to be um, useful. And like I say, Rex, Rex is beyond useful. I mean, she not only she takes care of me, but like I say, she, she does not, not ready like Zena was. She's not ready to open doors for me, but she's getting close. And, um, but anyway, that's why I'm saying I've found there's so many people that daydream. They're not even thinking. They're daydreaming. They're going to, they, they want to do this. They want to do that. They want to do that. And I love talking to these people because I'm asking them, okay, what do you have to do to get that done? To get those results, what do you have to do? And then they, then they, Tell me, and then I tell me, hey, they've been thinking about it. Okay, what all have you done? And then you'll find out they haven't really done much. That's daydreaming. You know, so, and that's the kind of stuff that it's kind of a downer for me. Uh, because I say, that's what gets scary when I talk about being alone, left with my thoughts. Because I come up with all kinds of things. And... I'm trying to think. There's very few things that I cannot do. Um, the problem is, is what do I want to do? What do I want to get involved in? What you know? How far am I going to push it? And that's what I admire in other people. That's why, if you've seen me, you've talked to me, we've spent any lengthy period of time. Normally, it takes some time. Uh, for us to get the you get to know each other and then I start asking questions one thing I ask what they're doing now how they were able to get what they got what they're doing and uh, you know what they have looked to look forward to and stuff like that and uh, that, those are the things that that I stumble on stumble around in my life all the time 
there's what do you want to do okay if you're young you probably don't know about it but there's older people you know oh i want a boat and you get a boat and what do they say the the two happiest days of owning a boat is the day you get it and the day you sell it you know well and that's when people say well you know you got boy you got a camper you know well i don't do camping <laughs> you know, i mean um it's if one thing it's a house now at least i got a house and this is what i had to come to face was you can't live out of a, a couple of backpacks uh you know and live a uh, uh, a fruitful full fruitful life and but i've done it i've had you know years of doing it and now i've got a place where everything is in its place in my little house so uh now i got to figure out where do i go and what am i going to do when i get there i'm still focused on the hoi chi uh because i say this is something that it's it's usable i can use it use that skill anywhere in the world i don't even need to speak the same language but uh so that's something that but like i say with this virus thing i can't believe everybody's so scared and then they come on me like why aren't you scared you know well you know okay why aren't i scared of getting mugged okay well i i practice uh i i'm armed i've been in those situations i know what what it is so there's nothing to be scared of and it's the same thing in the way of health if you stay healthy you know how to be healthy you know how your body works and now you can focus on other things and that's what i do i focus on other things even though i do take care of myself i have to focus on other things something fun and, and ready to uh feel like i'm prospering i'm i'm improving myself but anyway this is just a little bit of thinking this is mike no stress mike dot com <laughs>